Hello friends, this is Raj Sastri from Raj Option Trading. Today is March 31st, 2022. Let's take a look at top biotechnology stocks. We got uh, CRISPR. CRISPR has been down for a while. It had some patent related issues. Now it's consolidating and trying to go higher. And then we got Excel Axis. This, this stock has been doing great of late. Let's see if it's good to still buy or should we wait. Then you got BioCrist. Again, stock is a little bit down of late. Let's see if it's worth buying here. And next we got one of my favorite trading stock here, Sawa or Kasawa. It's a good trading stock. You could uh, buy this right now. It's down. And then you got Editas. Editas is a really good swing trading stock. It goes up and down, especially during the FDA uh, related issues. Stock came tumbling down. Now it's trying to go higher. Could be a good time to buy some Editas here. And then you got Biomarin. Again, a great stock. Right now it's down. Could be a good time to buy some Biomarin here. Let's look at these stocks and many more and go from there. All right, so we'll start with the market update, look at top healthcare ETFs, and look at top biotechnology stocks. So with that, we got few stock news here. We got Insight. Insight is one of my favorite stock. It's been doing great. Uh, looks like we got some improvement. Um, so it's a good one to even buy up here, but I would rather wait for a little pullback and then buy. And we got two stocks which are doing great, defying market sell-off. We got we got Excel Axis as well as Bristol Myers. And then you got Fate, Fate Therapeutics. Looks like it's a loss widened. This one is also a good one to buy when it's down. It typically does well and uh, bounces back. And then you got Biocrush Pharma. It's uh, showing some uh, raise price performance here could be a good one to look at and see if it's worth buying here then we, we got editas here beaten down stock right now it's trying to go higher i think it's a good time to buy some editas here so with that let's jump in here look at top healthcare etf look from a healthcare etf perspective off rate biotechnology stocks are not doing great look at the big huge tumble here look it's down 35 percent from 52 week high and it it's trying to go slowly higher in five day at these levels. You know, I'm a buyer in XBI or biotechnology. It's beaten down big time here. Good time to buy some biotechnology. Look at IV percentile. Tells you this uh, this sector is volatile at this time. It's good to even buy some put option at a lower price. And uh, I mean, sell some put option and make some money or premium that way. And then you got XLV here. It's a bigger healthcare ETF. I love XLV because it's a little more stable <clears throat> look nice uh, volume here and you could uh, buy XLV even up here it's a good one to buy this one is slightly down for the year not too much it's really good one to buy when there is a when there is a fear about uh, inflation and fed raising rates typically these bigger healthcare names will do well <clears throat> Then we got Cathy Wood here, uh, ARC, ARC ETF here, genomic. This one is also down big time. Look at the performance here. Down 50% from 52 week high. And it's also trying to make a small comeback here. Yeah, I would say, you know, you could, um, I would rather buy XPI, which is a little more uh, uh, stable. And, you know, performance wise, it's uh, better than ARC. I would rather buy XPI instead of ARC here. And we got IBB, which is again a biotech. Technology ETF. You know, it's also a good one here. I like this one also. Look, it's also down nicely 26% from 52 week high. So, even this is also trying to make a comeback here. And it also has a, you know, a little bit higher IV percentile, but not too much. And we've got a few more as you can see here. We talked about medical devices last time. I love I love medical devices. We got an ETF here, IHI. It's a medical device ETF. This is doing very well. Not yet in the correction territory, not down 10% uh, from 52 week high yet. I, I love this one also. And we've got a few more. What we'll do next is we'll look at stocks and see what top stocks we can buy in the in the biotech. <clears throat> 
look from a top stock perspective um, i sorted these stocks by market capitalization or biotech names here look we got highest market capitalization on the top here which is moderna moderna as you see here we off rate it's been uh, down uh, slightly or um, you know it's been down i think moderna had its uh, great days back in 2020 and 2021 with the covid surging vaccine sales going higher right now it's in a consolidation pattern look in one day it's down in one month three months six months it's down still it's got a lot of cash look uh, 10 billion dollar cash in the balance sheet 13 billion dollar mark you know cash flow here and nice overall score they do have enough money look uh, current ratio is 1.8 that tells you they got a lot of money and look at the debt to equity very low this company is very good right now it's out of favor i would say you could even buy some moderna slowly on the down days um like yesterday and go from there and we've got vertex one of vertex is one of my absolute favorites look at the overall score of vertex it's a hundred out of hundred and this stock is doing great look it's a nice net margin 31 percent um, and look it's uh, going higher off late so at these levels it's just one percent below 52 week high i say wait for a little pullback here and then buy vertex and we've got a few more keep watching the net margin many of these companies have got positive net margin if you're a conservative investor go after net margin positive companies uh, that will do you very well <clears throat> And we got Bio and Tech. You might be. It's a. It's basically a partnership with the Pfizer. It's been doing great. This is something similar to Moderna. It's doing great. Nice uh, net profit margin, as you can see here. Uh, it's a down big time from 52 week high, and they got a lot of balance uh, pro, uh, cash on the balance sheet. You could also buy this one slowly after this COVID-related uh, sell-off is going on because they went so much so quickly in 2020 and 2021. And we got a few here. We got Insight, which is one of my absolute favorite. Look, it's been uh, doing great. Um, you know, look, 100 out of 100 score here. And nice profit margin. You could buy this one also. And we got Royalty Pharma for you uh, who want to have some uh, dividend income. This could be a good one. It's a bigger um, company. They basically, you know, uh, finance some of this uh, some of these pharmaceutical companies and uh, make some money that way uh, stock is uh, stock is not doing great look it's down um, you know for from one year high here uh, from one year and it's also down so if you are a long-term investor you could put some money in royalty pharma it's a great company but awfully it's uh, not doing great <clears throat> and we got a few more here we look at many of these stocks in a little more detail and go from there as usual you know keep watching uh, how much money they have on the balance sheet look we got cash on the balance sheet right here i love the stocks with the nice uh, cash on the balance sheet for example top companies here they got a lot of money on the balance sheet i love excel axis here it's a great one to buy look it's a uh, 13 percent down from 52 week high and look score is 100 out of 100 they're doing great and as you scan through this year uh, we also have altman z score all the altman z score candidates with the score more than 1.8 are more stable compared to others and look we, let's look at one more here we got crispr CRISPR has been down off late to the patent related issues. Look, they got a lot of money on the balance sheet, $2.3 billion of cash and free cash flow positive. It's also a good one to buy here. And we'll look at a few more and uh, go from there. Let's, uh, go, let's go to the next slide here to look at a few more. I also like Fate Therapeutics. It's been down off late. You could uh, buy Fate also up here. Um, they got a rating of 50 right now, score of 50. Um, and they got a negative net margin right now. So it's not a profit-making company yet. All right, I love BioCrist also. Look, it's also negative profit margin company, but they've been doing great as you can see here in all the way to five year. You could buy this company also here. So keep watch on the higher score candidates here. We got one more higher score candidate here, which is Fold. You could uh, buy that one also here. Nice 81 score here. You could buy this company also. And then you got one more with a higher score here, RCUS. You could buy that one also. It also has a negative, positive net margin of 14%. All right, so let's look at a few more here. <clears throat> Let me just pull this a little bit to the side so you can see properly. All right. 
So like, let's look at a few more here. We got Sawa or Kasawa. It's one of my favorite trading stock. It goes up and down nicely. And uh, look, uh, this one is has got a high short ratio. That's one of the reasons this goes up and down wildly. I say at this time, it's uh, good to buy some Kasawa. You can have a nice uh, squeeze type opportunity here. And we've got a few more here. I love Bridge Bio. It's also a good trading stock. Look, uh, high. it carries a high short ratio, 18%. And it's got over Overall score of 15 and keep watching here net profit margin for most of these companies is negative if you're a little more conservative conservative investor you could go with the positive net margin candidates for example like CPRX here it's got a positive net margin you can go after it perfect 100 out of 100 score here and we got a few more you know we got TGTX here this is a you know wild trader as many of you know carries very high price to sales ratio or valuation you could uh, buy this one also on down days you will do well it's been down off late as you can see here and we got a few more i love editas editas has been down uh, couple, a week ago or so at this time it's good to buy some editas it's uh, it, it's one of those stocks good for swing trading you know goes up and down at times um, you know deep uh, downturn right now it's good to buy some um, editas here look it's uh, down four 0.5 times 5% in one day and 28% uh, in three months. And we got a few more here. Uh, look, I love I, I love stocks uh, in like CPRX. It's also a good one here. It's a low price stock. Look, it's been doing great. 100 out of 100 score here. All right. So with that, thank you very much. Happy investing and trading. Uh, we go, let's look at a few more charts here before we drop off. So from a chart perspective, look, we got a C CRSP, CRISPR. CRISPR has been uh, down, 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 as you can see here. Uh, they got some patent-related um, you know, issues. And now look, it's uh, trying to make its way higher. On the balance volume is going higher, and stock is also trying to go higher. So there's a nice downturn, a consolidation pattern, and uptick here. At this time, I'm a buyer of CRISPR. This can uh, go higher and bounce back. And then we got Excel Axis. It's uh, firing in all cylinders, as we say here. And look, I would wait for a little pullback here. Uh, on a pullback, you could buy this stock, and this can go higher. Look, nice strength right now. I would rather wait a little bit. RSI 68 that tells you wait let it come down a little bit before you buy and then you got BCRX here this is one of those stocks nice trading stock up down up down as you can see here right now it's uh, you know trying to see where to go uh, slightly down on the balance volume is going higher um, and RSI 49 tells you stock is sold off here you could buy some BCRX here and go from there it's a low price stock around uh, you know $16, $16 and then you got Sawa this is one of those wild trader right now stock is uh, down and in the consolidation pattern Pattern. on the balance volume is steady you could buy some cassava this can create a good short squeeze type situation as we go forward and next we got a few more here we got editas editas uh, came down here look there's a nice uh, pull pull back here and also uh, some pull down here so at these levels it's trying to consolidate and trying to go higher at these levels you could buy some editors here rsi is 58 that tells you it's, it's doing okay at this time here and then you got vertex one of my absolute favorite stock here look it's uh, firing in all cylinders on the balance volume is going higher RSI 67 I say buy this one in a slight pullback here uh, it's uh, it's doing great and then you got faith therapeutics look it's uh, down 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 here nice consolidation pattern and it's trying to go higher at this time you could buy some faith therapeutics it's a nice uh, bounce back candidate here and then you got biomarin look stock has been uh, volatile up and down nice patterns big down here and now it's trying to make its way back up here i think at these levels you could buy some biomarin they can also do very well as you go forward all right so with that thank you very much happy investing and trading please subscribe